everyone and welcome back to yet another video so my beautiful client has come back she's had these nails on for four weeks she doesn't normally go four weeks um she normally goes three and that's why she missed lost a couple of nails um but i just wanted to show you me removing the old design in real time speed with this extra coarse bell bit from nail dot supplies it literally whips off that color in seconds now i have this on full speed on my e-file and i use like slow dragging motions and it literally just whips it off within seconds i'm going to leave the link so you can go and get yourself one of these it reduces your time massively for redesigns when you're using acrylic um for acrylic redesigns i honestly just don't know how i've lived without it so you can see there straight away couple of strokes look bam color gone so good i love it and this hasn't been sped up either this is just real time watching me remove the old design anyway i'll go ahead and do this on all of her nails um i do leave a bit around the cuticle because i have it on such fast speed i don't really want to go near the cuticle of the skin if it slips or anything like that i would be devastated and then as you can see on that ring finger i just as i was filing with the hand file i snapped the tip off so i'm coming in now placing back down my clear layer i've removed all the old design I've then come in doing all my natural nail prep um, and now I'm coming in, popping my clear base back down and just sculpt in fresh bases on the two nails that were missing. Um, so I keep it really thin. I'm not applying any bulk. I just kind of have it tip thickness. If you were to apply thin plastic tips, I do the same with acrylic. Um, and it was really, really cold in my summer house this morning. So the acrylic was setting so slow. So I'm just using the beads quite, having to play with the beads a little bit more than I would usually. But I'm just going to do this on all the nails anyway and I'll apply my clear base on all 10 nails. So now we're going in with design and I'm using Supernova at the tip and then I'm going to ombre that with Panther coming down. So just small beads of this just for design. I'm not applying any kind of structure with these powders because they do need capping because obviously they are glitters. And then my electric went <laughs> as it does. So just that's why the light has gone off there. So just using the tip of my brush to pat that and nudge that into place, ombre it down, and then I will leave that to set before I go back and cap the nail. So moving on, I've put the electric back on, and I'm going to do a rainbow nail on this one. So I'm taking apple shine at the cuticle area, tilting her finger downwards, using my brush to get it nice and tucked in that cuticle area. Um, using Tooth Fairy, Lilac Lister, Sunny Days, Aquamarine, and Malibu Sunset. I'm gonna let that slide down the nail, and like I said, it was colder than usual. And then I'm just dragging my brush up to make like a tie-dye effect, because, I don't know, just thought it looked cool. So I'm gonna do that, leave that to dry after I've got it so it's not running everywhere. I'm not patting over it, I don't wanna pat it because I'll just ruin it. And then I'm moving on to the middle finger. So the middle finger here is just going to be a full nail of apple shine. Absolutely adore this color. It is my favorite color ever. 
So again, just using the tip of my brush as a barrier between that cuticle area and product. Tilting the client's finger downwards at all times. And then just building up that colour. So this finger here was an actual disaster, but I left it all in because I wanted you to see that it doesn't always go right. Like sometimes YouTube videos can be edited so that everything just looks like it goes perfectly. Um, but actually this nail was an absolute nightmare. So it all looked like it started off okay. Went to go and drag it up, put the lines in, then took off all the color at the bottom, always started sticking to my brush because obviously it's cold and the colours are wet and then I made the mistake of trying to pat it oh god and then I thought right we'll try and rectify it by putting some more colours on and then I tried to put glitter on and then I ended up scraping it off and start again it was just horrendous <laughs> I'll let you just have a little bit of fun watching that So let's start again. Tooth Fairy, Apple Shine, Sunny Days, Aquamarine, tucking it in that cuticle, trying to like mask the old mess underneath, just letting it flow. I've give up. Put my lines in, and then what I do is just take a couple of tiny little beads of um, Malibu Sunset and just drag that up through those lines. And then I was so over this now that I just left it <laughs> and moved on. So I'm just going to put some of that supernova glitter over that rainbow nail. Or tie-dye nail, or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to come back and just cap all the nails in crystal glass.
So after all the nails were finished, I filed, shaped and bobbed, cleaned away all of the dust and now I'm just going to apply some tack free top gloss. I will cure these in the lamp for 60 seconds and then when she comes out, I just rubbed over the nail with cleanse, used my gripper glue and my wax pencil and just put some Swarovski crystals on the middle finger. And then I have left a little clip at the end and a picture as well so you could see how beautiful they really looked in a different light. Again, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, the third one. I'm on a roll now. So I'm going to definitely try and get more done daily for you and just try and get it done in some spare time when I have some spare time. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for commenting. I love you all so much and I'll see you all again in my next one. Bye!